The Eastern Asphalt and Mixed Concrete Company, EAMCO, presents our safety awareness video. At EAMCO, we care about the environment, as well as the health and safety of our personnel, contractors and the citizens of Bahrain. Please watch this short video carefully to understand the rules and regulations that you must follow while working with EAMCO. Remember, at EAMCO, you are responsible for your own safety and the safety of others. By adopting safe work practices, we can ensure that everyone will return home safely and without injury. EAMCO strongly insists that all personnel and contractors comply with its safety program to prevent injury and ill health, stop pollution as well as comply with applicable health, safety and environmental laws in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Safety Awareness First, it's important to understand what the various safety-related signs are. These signs combine shape, color and pictograms to convey specific health and safety information or instructions. Can you identify these signs? Road Traffic Safety Operating Equipment Driving a motor vehicle or operating a machine can be one of the most hazardous activities. Remember, to drive or operate equipment, you must have a valid driver's license, insurance, registration and maintain the vehicle in good working condition. Seat belts should be used at all times while driving the vehicle. In case of an accident, you must notify your supervisor immediately and call 999 or 199. Personal Protective Equipment at work sites, every person, including visitors, are required to wear the Personal Protective Equipment or PPE, such as the safety helmet, eye protection, gloves, high visibility clothing and safety shoes. Some sites or specific tasks may require additional protective equipment, such as hearing protection, H2S monitors and various other safety equipment. Wearing PPE is for your benefit and could make a difference between life and death. Safety shoes. Protection from falling or rolling objects, sharp objects, molten metal, hot surfaces and wet slippery surfaces. Gloves. An essential item in providing hand protection. Vest. High visibility protective clothing worn to be seen easily in the workplace. Ear protection equipment to reduce occupational noise-induced hearing loss. Dust mask, filtering out dust particles from the air breathed by the user. Safety eyeglasses, provide minimum protection from external debris. Protective gear worn to protect the head from injuries. Fire safety, not all fires are the same. Different fuels create different fires and require different types of fire extinguishing agents. Here are the different types of fires. Class A fires. These are fires caused by ordinary combustibles such as wood, paper, cloth, trash and plastic. Class B fires. These types of fires are caused by flammable liquids such as gasoline, petroleum, oil or paint. Class C fires. These involve energized electrical equipment such as motors, transformers and appliances. Class D fires. Fires by combustible metals such as potassium, sodium, aluminium and magnesium. Class K fires. Such fires are primarily caused by cooking oils and greases, such as animal fats and vegetable oils. Now, let's learn about the different types of fire extinguishers. First, the water type. These are meant for Class A fires only. The powder type for Class A, B, C and D fires. The foam type for Class A and B fires. And finally, carbon dioxide for electrical fires. Remember, never use water or foam type extinguishers on live electrical fires. Furthermore, 
Do not operate the fire extinguisher if you are not confident nor well trained. Crane Operations Awareness Cranes and rigging must be handled with care and operated by certified operators only. During handling, a qualified signal person must also be on duty. Every day, before starting work, thorough inspections should be carried out on the cranes. Any problems or defects must be repaired before use. Ensure that the mast or boom is well clear of all energized overhead and electrical lines. Remember, overhead power lines carry deadly amounts of energy and they are not insulated. Maintain the minimum clearance of 10 meters for the lines up to 50 kilovolts. Working at heights is the leading cause of death more than any other construction activity. The main risks associated with this activity are falls and falling objects. Therefore, working at dangerously high points should be avoided wherever possible. In cases where work at height cannot be avoided, remember to use work equipment or other measures such as working platforms, guardrails, tow boards, harnesses and helmets to prevent falls. Chemical safety. Handling chemicals is a risky practice. Remember to keep all the information about the materials in a safe place. Only trained and authorized personnel wearing appropriate PPEs should be allowed to handle hazardous chemicals. Finally, remember to store the chemical as per the material safety data sheet, the MSDS. Incident reporting. To ensure an accident-free work environment, report any accident or near-miss incident immediately to your supervisor. Before you report any incident, remember to identify the location and severity. And in case any external assistance is required, please call 999 or 199. Electrical safety. Electricity is good and beneficial. But on the other hand, the hazards of electricity are electric shocks, burns, fire, explosions and arcing. It is strongly advised that work on electrical systems should be restricted to qualified and experienced personnel only. Use only insulated tools and equipment and insulated PPEs such as boots and gloves and, in case of any electrical incident, you must be aware of the emergency procedure. Confined space or manhole safety. A confined space is a place which is substantially enclosed and where serious injury can occur from hazardous substances or conditions within the space or nearby. If the confined space cannot be made safe for the worker by taking precautions, then the worker should not enter the confined space until it is made safe to enter by additional means. In order to use portable power tools, follow these guidelines. Tools and parts are only used for their intended purpose. Always use necessary guards and safety devices. Always use necessary personal protective equipment. In situations requiring excavation, you need to have a safe system of work plan. This includes risk assessment and permit to work. Always check for underground services and overhead power lines. Look for measures to avoid excavation collapse and materials falling into the excavation. Ensure there is good access to get in and out of the excavation with proper signage and finally, check for any hazardous substance such as toxic gases. Environmental Awareness Why should we be concerned about the environment? As part of its race towards development, humans have contributed to increasing pollution on land, water, air and the environment in general. As a responsible organization, EAMCO has put an environment management system in place by which we improve our environmental performance through more efficient use of resources and reduction of waste. In this way, we are helping to reduce the pollution and depletion of natural resources. Waste Management 
Please ensure that you use skips in your premises. These are specially allocated for disposal of different types of waste. All of us have an obligation to learn more about how we can protect our environment from further damage. As per the Kingdom of Bahrain's HSE laws, we have the duty to preserve the environment and the species for future generations. Emergency Procedure In case of an emergency, remember to follow these simple steps. First, do not panic. Be calm and press the alarm button. Next, if possible, call the fire brigade. Leave the building by the nearest emergency exit. Do not stop to collect any personal belongings. Do not use the lift during an emergency. Only use the stairs. Then, report to your assembly point as soon as possible. Do not return to the building until you are authorized to do so. Be alert and always be prepared for any emergencies. To summarize, be aware of your evacuation plan which will help you during an emergency. Go to your assembly area. Follow the instructions of your emergency evacuation team or emergency preparedness and response procedure. Remember, safety is everybody's responsibility.